Hello, in this video we will talk about automatic uh, architectural trait studies in SysML and uh, they will present the space uh, uh, craft uh, uh, satellite model uh, presented uh, at this uh, INCOSE 2021 International Symposium as part of the Introduction to Model Simulation and Engineering Analysis with SysML tutorial. Very successful tutorial, uh, got uh, live uh, hands-on eight hours with uh, 60 people signed up with actual product used most of the time. And it was presented by me and uh, product manager Nerysin Cabbages. And we demonstrated the project, uh, uh, which we want to uh, discuss a little bit because um, and show the automated trade study because uh, uh, there are some are, uh, uh, some uh, alternative architectures which can be evaluated automatically. So as you can see here, so power subsystem of the satellite has uh, uh, parts, right? Power switch, power distribution, and so on. They are connected, as you can see here. Uh, power conditioner, solar arrays. Uh, solar arrays provides the power. Power conditioner provides the uh, power to the conditions. Power provides to power management software. Uh, then the battery also provides the power and is controlled by the software. And then we provide the power to power switch and to power, then power distribution module, right? And also we have solar arrays with the optional array deployment mechanism. So here are the different solar arrays uh, alternatives, right? So body mounted solar arrays. Uh, solar arrays with two axes of freedom, solar arrays one axis of freedom. So depending on the which one to choose, actually, so there is a variation point here, which one to choose will need or will not need a ray deployment mechanism. So from the system perspective, we see this is a, like a, a zero to one, right, optional thing. But from the arrays, if we use one axis array, we need that, and two axis array, we need to deploy that. And then this actually has a mass and total mass which uh, actually rolls up to the total so it has one of the criteria for the traits that there's a mass another one is the reliability and the mass based on the uh, uh, alternative architecture for solar arrays also shall include the deployment mechanism mass and then we apply the pattern for this one and we get the mass uh, evaluated uh, from here uh, coming from the a different architecture. So automatic trait study actually evaluates uh, alternatives in the generalization tree, in the Excel, or in the instance table. We are working also on PLE-based alternatives automatic evaluation, but uh, it's not yet available here. And uh, here you can see that we'll get alternative architectures like completely alternative, right? Look, you have this one, which includes this. You have this one, which does not include this, right? Uh, this is the same actually as used in, more, in other cases, but uh, it is just on those two architectures. Also, we have here alternative battery. It does not have any other things inside, but you could have actually behavior here inside, which would behave. You could have like other parts related to this, those batteries. So it's completely alternative architecture. Architecture, right? And then we have here a uh, requirement which is shall be satisfied that the uh, whole satellite shall not exceed uh, this power subsystem shall not exceed 11.5 kilograms, just uh, whatever number here. It's not really realistic, including the masses here. And then inside, uh, as you can see here, we have uh, not inside the system part is in the context of the analysis, trade study analysis, which is actually inheriting from trade study pattern. So if you want to see how that was set up and, you know, like to learn more, you can also check the INCOSE tutorial, which was recorded at INCOSE Symposium, but also you can check other videos which are available at the MBS Execution Channel on trade study. If you will search, you will find uh, automatic trade study in SysML part one, part two, and also in UAF uh, architectural based. So those part one, part two, they are kind of step-by-step -step setup. But uh, here, what we want to demonstrate is that actually we can have not only that single block, but actually independent architectures. And uh, now like uh, here for the setup, actually, as always, we create parametric diagram, which includes objective function to calculate some score based on some uh, weights of each criteria. So reliability comes from batteries and from the solar arrays and, you know, like higher reliability, not necessarily the uh, higher, uh, less mass, right? It's most cases uh, like opposite, right? In this case, uh, so we have like a kind of like trait and with some weights and then we have um, uh, utility curve to the um, 
level the uh, MOEs uh, used in trace study because you know like mass comes in kilograms and reliability comes in some uh, uh, values from zero to one. So everything based on those utility curves are converted to the from zero to ten. And then we have uh, here uh, alternatives uh, introduced through the alternative stereotype reference properties creator. So how to create those properties? So again, check the videos, those tutorials, like this and this. Uh, and also you have also documentation available uh, and the docsnomagic.com trade studies uh, explains, you know, how to use, uh, you know, different alternatives here. As you can see here, alternatives could be from uh, subtypes could be from Excel could be from instance in any case here we have already selected those two battery and solar arrays based on those generalizations uh, here and then we run the straight study with simulation config just basic config to put results in some package and you run that and you go through all the six alternatives and you get results and the results because we selected the package we get here so we see that uh, solar array 2 axis was selected as a uh, with the highest score that's the score, that's the number of executions, six out of spec, zero, six, so quite a lot. This is because, you know, all the properties which does not satisfy requirement get uh, actually removed from the evaluation, all the configurations based on the properties which just not satisfy requirements. So as you can see here, this one shall satisfy this requirement. If you will select this one and move mouse over, you'll see total mesh will be less than 12.5. Now I increased the requirement in order to see that actually maybe different configuration will win. And that's it. Yeah, now zero out of spec. And there is different configuration which would win if there would be uh, margin for the mass higher so that's good you know like um, we know now that you can kind of increase the uh, available uh, if you can increase the payload mass available you can actually get a different configuration which would be likely more reliable as you can see here about the mounted uh, solar arrays actually the most reliable as we can see here about the mounted solar arrays reliability is one and each of those uh, with the uh, adjusted uh, angle is less reliable like to access adjusted angle is 08 least reliable so now um, that was a demonstration you'll find the sample in the video description and we'll go through the some slides here so again we have presented automated architectural trade studies so what are the trade studies so trade study or trade-off study is the activity of a multidisciplinary team to identify the most balanced uh, technical solution among a set of proposed viable solutions. This is one of the major actually benefits you get from MBSC. And uh, if you do model-based system engineering and you don't optimize on your solution architectures, that means that you know your uh, criteria on which you optimize the like MOEs, you know what functions you need to support, you know your, what interfaces, and then solution architecture is not the one which you have from la last time, but just like the optimal one uh, based on all the alternatives you have, then that's actually what it's supposed to do, a system engineering uh, or model-based system engineering with a model-based approach. And that's how what we show uh, here can be done automatically. So what are the steps to evaluate alternatives so define the objective of evaluation and those are more ease like uh, sell, uh, and uh, weights uh, select criteria so those are more ease uh, then select the solution to be evaluated so it could be based on generalization and other uh, relations like associations um, and uh, excel uh, 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 variants based uh, that means coming uh, as an instance and then also actually as an instance in the model and then delivering expected results the certification and recommendations so those are like theoretical steps uh, but they practically work so uh, <clears throat> so it's uh, interesting that optimal architecture is unknown at the time of the modeling right so you don't know really we, you get the stakeholder needs and then you convert that to the model because we apply model-based system engineering so you have functions which need to be implemented in solution architecture then you have uh, interfaces external ones needs, needs to be supported and then you have MOEs measurements of effectiveness those are used to optimize on the 
best uh, solution architecture and there are really a lot of possibilities in solution architecture so you capture the uh, functions which needs to be supported interfaces needs to be supported MOEs you need to satisfy some level based on requirements and then optimize on those and variability points in the systems could be components variability topological variability geometrical variability relational variability and so on uh, in SysML there are some uh, uh, built-in uh, uh, things related to the variability analysis, so objective function, which we are using to the to identify the winning uh, architecture, and then MOE stereotype, which is used to identify the criteria based on which we evaluate. Uh, and there are multiple problems, you know, which needs to be answered, which actually are answered with this approach and you can check. And then also this approach is not like really coming somewhere isolated, right? There are books about that. And one book is like Architecting Spacecraft with SysML. Another book uh, where we can find the steps about um, model uh, trade studies it's a recent book uh, from Bruce Douglas, Agile Model-Based System Engineering Cookbook. Very good book. And uh, those steps, you know, which we automate in uh, Cameo, you can actually find the same in uh, here in the described book, you know, more like from the principal perspective. And here we see in those tutorials, actually, you, you can uh, just check those tutorials to see how those steps are actually implemented. Coming back to the theoretical part, you know, so there are, uh, this good book, you know, from which we take a sample with the proper rights, we have uh, this Architecting Spacecraft with SysML by Sandy Friedatel and Oster, Christopher Oster from Lockheed Martin. Uh, they describe there are different alternatives in architecture of the satellite, and those could be like small sat constellation versus large sat and geo number in constellation versus cost performance, geo, uh, graceful degradation, and body mounted versus gimbal solar race, which we actually evaluate this. As you can see, at different levels, we can evaluate different alternatives, right? <clears throat> and uh, here you can see that uh, different alternatives pretty much has like different. Uh, uh, criteria like mass and uh, reliability we just take two of the mass and reliability but it could be more than that you know you could take you know more than that which will resolve uh, into objectives objective uh, which is like um, uh, as high as better right and, and as you can see body mounted uh, is winning based on those all criteria in this book and we also got body mounted winning uh, and then also <laughs> here we see that um some uh, steps uh, how to set up uh, we are actually creating context for analysis we put system in the context in order not to uh, overcrowd system with the analytical data there could be multiple analysis done with the same system model so system model stays independent and we also inherit from trade study built-in pattern and uh, yeah we use objective function to identify the cost effectiveness also we use tracing uh, utility curve uh, straight line utility curve to the normalize the values uh, from kilograms and reliability to uh, values from zero to ten uh, we set up everything, we identify alternatives, uh, and uh, that would be it. Uh, again, check the YouTube channel, MBS Execution, check the uh, documentation, trade study analysis tutorial, and there are actually in the YouTube channel, MBS ex Execution, there are three, uh, three videos, uh, Introduction to Trade Studies with SML, uh, actual step-by-step -step trade studies uh, set up in the model and executing that uh, with different alternatives coming from the generalization based uh, uh, instance based and excel based and then also uif based uh, uh, alternative trade studies architectural alternative trade studies um, for the vehicle alternative architectures so thank you and see you in next videos